And on Friday, the SAPS announced their crime statistics, and among them, murder increased by 5%. Attempted murder by 4.6%. However, there was a decrease. Rape showed a 6.3% decrease and sexual assault a 4.9% drop. Now, in announcing these statistics, the police commissioner, who is going to be one of those that are in the hot seats in today's TNA business briefing, said that they need help and she requires all South Africans to work together to get these crime stats under control. When they say work together, it's all South Africans, including companies and some companies themselves that may also become victims of crime. To chat a little bit more about this is Ayanda Ali Payne, who is at Sanson for the TNA Business Briefing. She is going to be hosting it this morning. Let's check in with her once again. Ayanda. Thank you so much, Valen. You're quite right. And among the figures that decreased are that of business-related crimes. And of course, remember, these are the national and annual crime statistics. So they don't reflect a month-by-month -month basis as to what's happening on the ground. Uh, if so, they would have perhaps been an increase. As you do know, in Gauteng, uh, we've seen a, a spike in business-related robberies, especially with regard to tech stores of later. And uh, with the festive season looming, uh, police have been out in their numbers to make sure that they try and curb such business-related crimes. So that's what we're focusing on now. I'm joined uh, by the group manager of Edcon, Mr. Sabir Manjur. A very good morning to you, sir. Thanks again for your time. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Let's speak a little bit about the private-public partnerships. My colleague Valen has spoke about the need for all South Africans to join hands to fight the scourge of crime in South Africa. What is Edcon doing? Well, about three years ago, Edcon decided... Uh, to just stop sitting on the sidelines and maybe get a little bit more involved with uh, the police particularly and, and to bring in the community. Uh, so we've, we've embarked on three major projects. Uh, the first being uh, the contact points where we've sponsored over 40 caravans uh, that are deployed nationally into, into various police stations that are used as contact points where the community, police and business can use them as visible points. Uh, that's been extremely successful. Another one is that we, we feel that we have a lot of the unsung heroes uh, where we traditionally with corporate we have our own uh, uh, award ceremonies and what we've done now is we've for the past three years now we've now sponsored the Joba Cluster Top Cop, Top Cop Award Ceremony which we host at our premises. It's a nice black tie event where we, we really celebrate their success. Uh, and then the third uh, intervention that we, we're quite proud of is uh, where, we, where we have victims of crime, uh, particularly women who have been raped, children, and with that we've uh, sponsored the Joburg Central uh, Victim Empowerment Centre where we've uh, renovated it and made it into a more warm and, and, and safer place to be. Uh, from, so with regard to EdCon, we believe that uh, don't just sit, sit back as a corporate, get involved, participate. Uh, especially where we, where we have a huge footprint. We have 1,200 stores across the country. We just can't sit back and, 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 and observe. In 30 seconds, uh, we have run out of time, unfortunately. Speak to us about what you're doing uh, as your retail stores are in malls most of the times. We've seen an increase in mall robberies when it comes to, uh, especially in Gauteng, uh, tech stores have been targeted. But in the festive season coming just around the corner, we don't know what else will happen. What are you doing to ensure the safety of your customers? Uh, yeah, that's a huge concern for us. We're probably the biggest retailer of cell phones in the country, uh, of making us a prime target. But what we've done is that we've, we've, we've increased our security, we've put in uh, passives in ceilings, we've put in strong rooms, uh, we've, we've gone to the latest high-tech uh, preventative systems in stores. And where we find we have in high-risk areas, we've also enlisted the support of uh, security guards uh, just to make sure that we firstly do our best before we just rely completely on the police. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining us. The group manager of Edcon, Mr. Sabir Manjur. Uh, these are just some of the things we'll be unpacking today as we take a closer look at the 2013-2014 crime stats. Back to you, Vey.